Hello everyone, welcome once again to Geospatial Tutorial. Today let us learn how to download water bodies of an area of your interest across the globe in a shape file and use it in arc map for your research or study purposes. Hydrology of an area primarily depends on the elevation profile, so any hydrological related work would require DEM as a primary data source to carry out any work. Let's open Earth Explorer first. This is Earth Explorer uh, website. You can go here and in another tutorial, I have already explained how to download satellite images and digital elevation models from Earth Explorer. Today we will not be downloading any satellite image or digital elevation. We will be straight away downloading water bodies of our area of interest from Earth Explorer. So let me tell you very briefly that you need to have a user ID and a, a password for Earth Explorer to be able to download any data from Earth Explorer. It's a free account. You can use it. It's a service provided by NASA. So this is your Earth Explorer. You can just log into your account and in search criteria, enter the place for which you want to download the water bodies. Let me type Bangalore and press enter. And here you go. This is your uh, study area, what you are uh, looking at. You can just zoom in to the level you wish to. You can just zoom in here and if you feel this is exactly not your area and you are interested in this area you can just drag it over here and use it let's keep it here and uh, see how to download the data that we are looking at once you have uh, selected the area just click on data sets and you have uh, loads of data available in earth explorer and we are interested in water bodies and water bodies primarily depends on digital elevation model so let's go to digital elevation and here you have a lot of options and these are the options using which you can download the global dem but we will be looking at srtm dem just click on srtm dem and you have four options out of that the last one is srtm water body data this is the data is extracted using an automated algorithm running on the digital elevation model of any area. So this is the water body what you will be looking at and once you have selected that click on results. There you go your results have been displayed and uh, the date is February 2002 it's quite an old data. So uh, for a city or a quite thickly populated area, there would be a lot of changes. But for an area which is uh, not so fastly developing, is a non-urban area, this data will be quite good even today. So once you have uh, selected the data, just click on these download options and click download since you are logged in it automatically starts download if you are not logged in it will ask for your login id and password once you enter your data starts downloading and this is in zip format once your download is complete you will have to copy the file and unzip the file to get it in shape file now that it is complete i'll just go to the folder and just right click on that and I'll extract it to this particular folder that it is asking for. You can uh, first copy the data to the location you are looking at and then carry out the process. This is the data that you have downloaded and here you have shape file and this is the file that you are looking at and let us close this. Now that we have downloaded the data, we need to see the data and also verify the accuracy of the data. So let us go to ArcMap and try to 
verify the data this is the world imagery that i have taken let me just briefly explain how to add this as a date base map in your uh, arc map just click the small arrow here and click on the option add base map and here you can choose this imagery to add it onto your screen this is primarily used as a base map and in this example i am using it to verify whether the shape file that we have downloaded is matching with this particular data that we have now let us uh, add the data that we have just downloaded go here and uh, take the file click ok and that file is just added to your screen we will have to see that but first of all let me be very clear that if the projections are not matching in every case there is a possibility that the data that you have downloaded is not matching the world imagery projection primarily because the data that you have downloaded is not projected it's uh, geographically referenced but it is not projected you can uh, go through the other tutorial in which i have explained how to reproject and redefine coordinate uh, system for a file you can define the coordinate system to the file that you have downloaded to be same as this world imagery once you have done that they will fall exactly over each other how do we see whether it is matching now just right click on this file and go to zoom layer and just wait for a while it's uh, offline online data so it takes time to download and uh, plot your map or your water bodies on that now as you can see these are the water bodies that we have uh, seen let us see let us zoom to some specific area and see if they do overlap with the satellite image of for the water bodies let's zoom into that area and see how does it look like so let's see it now this is the shape file that you have uh, selected just click on that and you can see exactly below the shape file you have the surface water bodies and it uh, holds good everywhere you can uh, see this one this one this one this one this one everywhere it holds good but there would be some mismatch uh, primarily because there are uh, various water bodies which are seasonal primarily to say that in a summer season there will be some water bodies which go missing because it is dried up the lake is dried up so in such situation what happens uh, though the elevation profile suggests that there is a water body the satellite image will not pick it up as it is a dry land and it picks up only bare soil so of in a rainy season you can definitely make sure you can uh, observe that all the water bodies and the shape files water bodies will match exactly but however the aerial extent of the water bodies will not match again because in a rainy season water body will be full to it, its capacity whereas in a summer season it will be dried up so that it will become very shallow and the boundaries of the water bodies will not match with the shape file and the satellite image and also make sure uh, give consideration to the fact that the water bodies that we have downloaded is around uh, 10 years old 10 to 12 years old uh, uh, shape file whereas the imagery that you are seeing is very very latest so uh, to point out a water body this file will be very useful and let me be very clear if you are using it for a non-urban area say in a forest area or a, a village area this will be far more better it will have very high accuracy that's all about uh, downloading straight away the shape file in for water bodies in your area thanks for watching